The video so of guys, Guan Lu welding mainly talks about copper aluminum welding and some methods of copper iron welding. Welding for refrigeration pipe. The copper and aluminum copper welding. And now aluminum I have made the pipeline for welding. it. The pipeline needs to be polished. Whether it is a copper pipe or an aluminum pipe, it must be polished. There is no impurities around it. How it is relatively smooth. And then connect the pipeline and, and then break pipe. the copper pipe slightly up. And there will be this oblique state, which is because called welding better than welding. Hard to weld. Welding this pipeline, I generally use this special welding rod, it has a core, now weld to show you that the flame does not need to be too big when heating, you need to bake the copper pipe first, and then add solder, look at the changes in the copper pipe, see that it is turned red now, so start adding the welding rod. Roast it a little more, and you can take a closer look. See you guys. The welding rod is filled all around, no problem. Now demonstrate the position of the welding iron joint welding filter. Now the sand welding rod is used as brass welding rod, especially for less experienced masters. Try to use brass welding rod when welding, it is easier to weld. Then now bake the welding rod first, then add some red sand, and then bake the iron pipe a little, add red sand, add a little to it on the whole iron pipe, basically there is it, now bake the iron pipe, bake it red, and then start adding the welding rod. Add a little feeling to it up and down, and now add a lump. This right side is not a little bit. Add such a ball, and then go to bake the filter and pass the pipe. Now switch to this cast flux for another. Then flash it, first bake the red bean hot strips, add a little, now bake the iron pipe a little, bake it a little, and add a little more, now there are hot strips on top, and then go to bake the bottom, and then bake it again, and now it is welded. Thank you so much.